Hold <laughs> on. Alright, on your way. Stephen, um, what is it to you? You guys play a lot of all bench units. Um, Billy likes to. But what does it do when you're blending? Playing a lot of bench units? Yeah, like all primary bench yeah. units. Um, you know, the start of quarter, just the fourth quarter, or even yeah. the second quarter. I know you've started to kind of change that with Paul you yeah. know, going into the, the second unit to start the second quarter. But mm -hmm. what does it do when you're mixing a starter, say, whether it's one guy or it's even two, when it's like you or Paul or, or you and Carmelo with that second unit to start a quarter? Ooh, so the question is, what does it do? Yeah, what does it do to like change the, the balance of, of the team when it's only second unit players as opposed to, you know, maybe two starters with the second unit players? Uh, I mean, it's, it's weird because it's uh, so like, it's so dependent on the other team's matchups, really, obviously. Um, so that's when obviously you get random people in there, but I guess um, in terms of like, Offensive efficiency, maybe. I just think it's just something to say. Um, I think throwing PG in there w actually helps out a lot more with the second unit um, and that sort of thing. I mean, whenever you could get someone like PG on yeah. in any sort of bloody you know, vibe, it's, it's always a good thing, you know. So, I mean, that's probably my guess on it. Ask old mate, um, coach. No, that's hard for me to take. I just go with the flow, mate. <laughs> I go with the flow. Yeah. But are you saying going with the flow, is that comfortable for you when you're able to, you know, start a quarter with the second unit as opposed to, you know, starting on the bench and coming back with Russ like you typically do? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. You know, it's, it's my job. As soon as he says to go in, it's like, yep. You know, he's thought about it. You know, and this is probably just going to put us in the best position to win. So, and then you just do that, really. Pretty that simple, honestly. Yeah. Did you guys have a chance to look at Miami yet? And if so, anything stand out to you about tomorrow um, yeah it's, I mean they're, they're a good team uh, it's just the way they run their sets and stuff they're really, they're really disciplined they play with the park a lot uh, transition is definitely uh, one of their things it's, it's weird they run like a slow transition as well um, you know it's not your typical like really fast play they do do that but like um, they still keep you kind of offset uh, like Drogic does the way he probes and stuff in transition which is Kind of bizarre to see. It's really, yeah, it's really good. Is that, uh, meant, good from him. is that meant to kind of hunt three pointers that way? Or? Yeah. So yeah, but usually when those slow transition, that's what it means. Like you know, just probing, ain't really just trying to attack. Um, he's just kind of fake attacking and yeah. setting up for these trail threes. Olenek and is Ellington maybe? Yeah. 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 So old mates, yeah, they're popping threes. Um, but yeah, the way they run their sets and stuff, they have a lot of freedom. Um, so which is, which is, uh, it's a bit dangerous. So we just got to look out for that. To be honest. Yeah, a lot of their players are quite smart. James Johnson, really good player. Sorry, uh, Stephen, you've said you've, cool. <laughs> you've, uh, you've said before about Terrence that he's kind of like a like he's a sponge. Like you tell him one thing and like he just he retains it really quickly. Yeah. Uh, how, how have you seen that help him throughout this year? How have I seen it help him? Yeah. I mean, it's just your normal stuff, mate. If you could retain anything that any knowledge that you receive, it's and. Being able to call upon it at will, yeah, it's pretty good. You know, you'll be in uh, you'll be in good shape no matter what you do. So, I mean, that's all he's been doing um, so far. And, and a lot of it, the credit's got to go more towards his. Um, I mean, obviously his willingness to learn, but the, just how hard he works at at the things that you tell him. That's that's where most of um, the credit's got to go to. Because you could tell him, you know, I could say, oh, in this you got to do this. Like, you know, you're giving him like a theory. Really, he he goes out and really drills them out with the coaches and stuff which is that's where you'll really actually learn it and uh get used to the movements of it so the credit goes to the there can you More. uh so can you think of any specific examples where that's happened where you've told him something and, and you've seen him immediately start to apply it yeah so the start of the year it was um pretty much just our defense um our perimeter defense um i mean it's hard i'm not being a dick but i'm trying to dumb it down so um so the big, if, if, say they run a set, they're running split action, you guys can search up. So they run split action, with the big up top, like, we told them once just to get up into the ball, rush them over, if you get clipped or whatever, you screen it, which is, it's really complicated at full speed. Um, after we told them that, man, you just clicked it real fast, which is quite bizarre. Over the five years that I've been here, uh, most of the guards, even Dre, Dre was trash. 
Yeah, Jay was trash. <laughs> Jay was garbage. Yeah. But you know, and so then uh, his ability to just be able to do that straight away it was, you know, obviously you see that as a as a player learning learning these techniques and whatnot. You know, so it's the best example good. I got for you. So, I was closer last night. That was good, man. How was it? We bit of music, vibing. Hmm? Are you are you like a Lord fan or one of the Jewels? Was the other group that was there? I mean, I showed up for Lord. Yeah, yeah. I remember the other guys, but yeah, I showed up for Lord. Um, just because uh, one, she's Kiwi, mm -hmm. so that's ninety nine percent of the reason. And then also, it's just bonus, she makes really good music as well. So me and Dre just rocked over and just had a good time, mate. You know. Is that a is that a thing like you know New Zealand being the place it is? Do do New Zealanders tend to like support each other in their endeavors? Yeah. You don't do that in America? <laughs> oh, well, I, I mean, sure. Kind of, yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, some of them. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just normal. I thought it was just normal country thing. You see a fellow countryman. And especially when you're in another country, you yeah. just automatically, hey, mate. Hi. You know, <laughs> it's, it's established rapport. Is it presumptuous to think that, like, all, New Z all celebrity New Zealanders are people of of high status in New Zealand, like, know each other? Like, like would it, would it be presumptuous for me to think that? No. Nah. I, I don't think. You're, you're asking, do we know each other? Yeah, like... like, like is it fair you, to assume it? Yeah. Nah. Not, honestly, not, not all of us know each other. Right. Uh, obviously, we heard of one another, I think. Um, I should stop saying we. I'm not even sure if I'm, like, in that cool club. I always think there's, like, <laughs> an extra cool club up top. So, so them, I'm not sure. Like, if they're... You know what? Just put that over there. <laughs> So I'm not sure if they are uh, like met each other or whatever, but or like know each other like that. But I know they know both each other. Does that make sense? Sounds weird. Yeah. Where's the hot? Who is in the cool club? Huh? Who is in the cool club? No idea. Search it up, mate. Do me a favor. Come on, learn about my country, please. Uh, I mean, from your Speed. perspective, who, huh? who do you view as being in that cool club? No, it's not from New Zealand. Oh my Gordon Ramsay. It's from the UK. Look, I don't know anyone from New Zealand. I know it's weird talking about your fo fellow countrymen, especially being Kiwi. You can't just you see them as normal people. You, know, you don't like, oh my god, this person is like, yeah, he's old mate. Yeah, good on him. Steve, That's on, it. on that note, you um, when you get introed, you don't say it doesn't say from University of Pittsburgh. It says from New Zealand. Yeah. Why? Why did you choose that? That's where I'm from. I think it's, I think it's fit, fits better than that. Yeah. A bit more different as well. Everyone's saying that. the university and stuff. It's like, ah, I'm from New Zealand, so. Yeah. So it's a pride thing. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely proud of being New Zealander. It's not a knock on Pitt at all, is it? No. I like my country more than Pitt, put it that way. <laughs> so I chose New Zealand. Yeah. Anybody else? Thanks, Stevie. Thanks. So